Hello everyone, uh, just thought I'd have a quick chat about uh, scrumpy cider, homemade scrumpy. This is some of my homemade scrumpy. I make it to 9%, you know, you can make it whatever strength you want. If you've uh, followed my videos and a lot of people uh, have watched my original video, which I did a few years back now, about making homemade scrumpy. I've been making this stuff for years and years and years, but I make a still scrumpy now. Um, uh, so there's no secondary fermentation. I stabilize it. That's what I tend to, to, to make now is just still scrumpy. Um, so yeah, 9% I make it a alcohol. And so yeah, I just thought I'd give you a quick tip. Um, if, if you are going to make your own scrumpy and you want to make it still, add a stabiliser. You can really ferment it out, you know, so it's really... But the best way is to stabilise it, and that is adding a stabiliser which kills the yeast. Because what can happen is if you bottle it, or barrel it if you, you know, you can get a secondary fermentation even though you have not added any extra little bit of sugar. That's because that's what you're supposed to do. You know, uh, if you're bottling it, you add about well a quarter of a teaspoon, up to say half a teaspoon at the most, and you get a secondary fermentation. You'll get a buildup of CO2 between the level of the scrumpy and the top of the cap where you've capped the bottle. Um, and then you'll get a fizzy cider, but I don't make fizzy cider now, I make still ciders or still scrumpy, which are like I say, I stabilise it so there's absolutely no chance it kills the yeast, there's no chance of a secondary fermentation. And what that means is it can save you a lot of money. You don't have to go out and buy expensive bottles, um, expensive crown caps, an expensive crown capper, just use milk bottles you can see there easy simple does the job there's no pressure nothing it's still um so yeah that, that's right that i use i use bottles as well but i use these uh just, just get your milk bottle rinse it out sterilize it just fill it with the the, the golden scrumpy and some of them with the caps um, put your cap on, after you've filled it, put your cap on and squeeze it. And if you hear a coming out of the, t the, the cap, because these caps can, you know, they're, they're not that good. Just get some cling film, hope you can see that. Just get a little piece of, square piece of cling film. Put it over the top of the bottle, put the cap on, tighten up the cap. You'll get a good seal. See, see I'm squeezing that, there's no sound, nothing's a would seal. So that's it. Just use milk bottles. You've been using that for your, your tea or your coffee. Rinse it out, reuse it, fill it with scrumpy. That's only, and I say only, if you are making still cider. Do not use these type of bottles if you are making it a fizzy cider, which you're getting a secondary fermentation. Because this thing will act, well, first thing will happen is the, the little blow off. The bottle won't explode, but the lid will blow off. Um, perfect for still scrumpy milk bottles or any any type of plastic bottle. You know, at the end of the day, but that's what I'm using. I've got a pile of these full. I've got about 150 quid's worth or 150 pounds worth. Um, if you were to buy it off the shelf of. 9% scrumpy cider at the moment and I'll be getting some more apple juice in the next couple of days and so I'll be making some more so yeah milk bottle job done so cheers oh it's beautiful stuff beautiful